video we will be solving this question which says the idea of assigning numerical values to determine a preference ordering over a set of objects is not limited in application to commodity bundles the bill james baseball abstract argues that a baseball player's batting average is not an adequate measure of his offensive productivity batting averages treat singles just the same as extra base hits Furthermore, they do not give credit for walks, although a walk is almost as good as as a single. James argues that a double in two at bats is better than a single, but not as good as two singles. To reflect these considerations, James proposes the following index, which he calls runs created. Let A be the number of hits plus the number of walks that a batter gets in a season, and let B be the number of total bases that a batter gets in the season thus if a batter has s singles w walks d doubles t triples and h home runs then a is equal to s plus d plus t plus h plus w and b is equal to s plus w plus 2d plus 3t plus 4h and let n be the number of times the batter bats Then his index of runs created in the season is defined by a b divided by n and will be called his r c. With this information, we are asked in 1987, George Bell batted 649 times. He had 39 walks, 105 singles, 32 doubles, 4 triples, and 47 home runs. In 1987, Wade Boggs batted 656 times. He had 105 walks, 130 singles, 40 doubles, 6 triples, and 24 home runs. Alan Trammell batted 657 times. He had 60 walks, 140 singles, 34 doubles, 3 triples, and 28 home runs. Tony Gwynn batted 671 times. He had 82 walks, 162 singles, 36 doubles, and 13 triples and 7 home runs. We can calculate a the number of hits plus Walk B, which is the number of total bases, and R C, which is the runs created index for each type of players. For Bell, A is twenty-seven, B is forty-eight, R C is one forty-three. For Boggs, A is three hundred and five, B is four twenty-nine, R C is one ninety-nine, and for Trammell, A is two sixty-five, B is three eighty-nine, and R C is one fifty-seven. For Gwen, we have to calculate A, B, and R C. We have A is equal to this. And B is equal to this long formula, where your A is the number of hits plus the number of walks that a batter gets. B is the number of total bases, and S is single, W is walk, D doubles, T triples, and H home runs. And R C is your runs created index. So let me uh, put this entire information given here in a table so that we know what exactly. Everything is, and hence we omit committing mistake. So this is the table where we have N W S D T H for Bell, Boggs, Trammell, and Gwen, and we are asked to calculate A, which is equal to S plus D plus T plus H plus W for Gwen. They have calculated A, B, and R C for Bell, Boggs, and Trammell. We are given the values of s d t h and w all we have to do is add all the numbers and calculate the sum so that is a very easy thing so your s is 162 your d is 36 your t is 13 your h is 7 and your w is 82 if you add it up you will get it as 300 so your a is 300 Now let's calculate B, which is equal to S plus W plus two D plus three T plus four H. That would be one sixty two. Your W is eighty two. Your D is thirty six. Your T is thirteen for Gwen plus H is seven. So this becomes three eighty three. So your B is three eighty three. Your next is R C, and your R C is nothing but A B divided by N. So this becomes A B divided by N. Here we have calculated A B as three hundred. 
your b as 383 so multiply it by 300 and this entire thing gets divided by n for when your n is 671 so your formulation becomes 300 multiplied by 383 divided by 671 which is exactly equal to 171.236 but since here we as you see that rc are in whole numbers that is they are omitting the decimals so we will also follow the same norm thus your rc becomes 171 approximately so the answer to this here is 171 now moving on to the next part it says if somebody has preference ordering among these players based only on runs created index which player or players would she prefer to trammel for that let's see what are the runs created by each individual now to the previous table what i have done is i have added a b and rc as we have calculated these parameters for all the players now we have to compare the players based on run created index by default i'm assuming that higher the runs created the better it is so let's arrange it in an order that would be 199 is the highest which is then followed by 171 followed by 167 and lastly we have 143 let's map these scores or runs created to the players now 199 is made by boggs next is 177 which is gwen next is 167 which is trammel and lastly we have 143 which corresponds to bell so what we have is boggs have the highest runs created then followed by gwen then trammel and then bell A question exactly ask us that which player or player would she prefers to travel that means we have to find those players which have higher run created as compared to travel and by this ranking we can see that travel has 167 runs created whereas bog and gwen has 199 and 171 respectively if a person ranks somebody based on runs created index then she will prefer Bog and Gwen to Trammel. So the answer to this question is Bog and Gwen. Hence, if somebody has a preference ordering um, among these players based only on the runs created, that person would prefer Bogs and Gwen to Trammel. Moving on to the next part, your third part says the differences in the number of times at bat for these players are small. So we will ignore them for simplicity of calculation. On the graph below, plot the combinations of A and B achieved by each of these players. Draw four indifference curves, one through each of the four points you have plotted. And these indifference curves should represent the combination of A and B that lead to the same number of runs created. So let's begin. Firstly, we have a we have b we have rc for each of the players we know that rc is equal to a b divided by n and it is given in the question that since the differences in the number of times is very small and we are ignoring them for calculation that means your rc becomes a multiplied by b and with this scenario we are given a graph where on the x-axis you have number of hits plus walks which is nothing but a and on the y-axis you have number of total bases which is nothing but b so first the question says plot the combinations of a and b achieved by each of the players since a is on the x-axis and b is on the y-axis your point will your point will be of the form a comma b for bell that point becomes 227,408 for bog that points become 305,429 for trammel that points become 265,389 and for gwen that points become 300,383 so let's plot all these points for bell this is your red point which corresponds to 227,408 since this is a very zoom graph and the numbers are used so try 
and now see similarly you can plot the different points for trammel for gwen and for box now the question next ask us to draw the indifference curve passing through each of these points what we know is that your rc is equal to ab so for drawing a graph we first need to have a relation between two axes with that now we have that relation that is your rc is equal to ab at this point which is your 227 comma 408 since we have to draw the indifference curve passing through this in, uh, passing through this point that means this point will lie on that indifference curve so what we have with us is 227 multiplied by 408 is equal to alpha but we know that this becomes your constant number so that would be 227 by 408 is equal to 92616 so the, your equation of the curve becomes ab is equal to 92616 now what do i mean by this equation that means you have to find all those points or all those combinations of a and b which give you the product of 92616 and the, all those points would be lying on the same indifference curve as the, that will be giving you the same level of satisfaction or here that satisfaction turns out to be your runs created so you have your equation this likewise you can calculate the equation for other people as well which is box trammel and gwen and if you see this this is nothing but the equation of your parabola which would look like this so this red curve is your indifference curve for bell which passes through the point 227 comma 408 likewise you can draw the graph for other people as well which would look like these green purple and blue graphs which is uh, which are your indifference curve for each of the points that we have plotted and these indifference curve represent the combination of a and b that lead to the same number of runs created that means every point on the red indifference curve would give you the same number of runs created by a bell which is 92616 and likewise you would get the same number of runs created for trammel gwen and bogs though the runs created for each person would differ as you can clearly see here that there are no that all the curves are distinct none of the curve is intersecting one another here the indifference curve for bog is higher than that of bell that means bogs have higher number of runs created as compared to bell trammel or gwen similarly trammel has a higher number of runs created as compared to bell so that was all for this video